Oh, what, the, what did I just throw mother. at him? Did she just come out from under the table? What was she doing under there? Do I want to know? Carrots. Ah! The uh, worldwide phenomena ah! that has happened. Ah! Uh, especially recently. I honestly feel so bad for anyone that's named Karen, and especially if you're a nice person. It's really not fair. Like, it's, it's all- because my name's Mike, right? It's like someone saying- <laughs> You're being such a mic right now. It just doesn't work. I don't know. It just doesn't work. I imagine I imagine now because of all the memes and stuff like that that uh, people naming their child Karen, it must have went down a lot. But again, you know, I understand that. If your name's Karen, I'm sure you're a great person. If anything, if I, if I, my name was Karen, I would want to prove to people that I'm not that kind of person. But it is a fascinating uh, phenomenon just watching these freaking bat crazy women go crazy over nothing. It has actually grown so big that they actually made a game out of it. Can you believe it? Today we're gonna be playing a game called Speak to the Manager. Are you Karen enough? <laughs> Is this the new Call of Duty sequel? I'm here for this. The developer actually sent me an email about this game. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> They, they, I didn't even know it existed until they sent me a, uh, uh, well, I don't know if it's the developer or the publisher. You guys don't give a crap about that. But, yeah, uh, so, it's not sponsored, but, like, you know, check it out if you want. It is free. I'm gonna play it, so. Can you beat my high score, Karens? This is bringing me back to the day when I worked at Walmart. In fact, I'll be right back. Hello, how can I help you? Look, I just looked for an excuse to wear this now. It's always good to rep, to, to remember your roots, where you came from. I, I can walk into a Walmart and, and. You're like, hello, have you found our selection of vegetables today? Oh, hi, how's it going? Can I interest you in our fine selection of butt wipes? No? All right, I'll just see my way out then. <laughs> That's the thing, you have to make sure you smile. Make eye contact. Hi. You need anything? No wonder why I got fired. No, I didn't get fired. <laughs> Dude, that was so good at my job, all right? I know, so what you're probably asking me now is did I, did I, did I have any actual contacts with Karen? Yes, I, I mean, I just tell the same stories because, you know, that's just what I do. I'm like an old man in a young, built body. <laughs> I remember the one specific time, we're gonna open the game up. I need to get the freaking game open. One time specifically, I was uh, a cashier at, at Walmart and I was like, you know, I was ringing up the stuff. You put it on the conveyor belt, you just go, you know, you put it up there, you boop, boop, boop. Oh, it's just starting. No, stop, wait, wait, give me a second. I'm not ready. Tell a story. And this lady, uh, she was an older lady, and she had chicken, and the chicken that she grabbed uh, was ripped. And so it was spilling all over the conveyor belt. Of course, I have no control over this, right? And we have a long line of customers, and... Like, obviously, I'm gonna clean it, and she freaking has the audacity to tell me after- because it just happened. And she comes up there, and she tells me, uh, you know, I can, uh, sue you? I think she said sue. I think she did. She said, I kn you know I can have you guys sued, right? Because that's a health violation or something like that. And I'm like, chill! I just freaking- I just clocked in! I just clocked in! I hate this place! And I got freaking this lady- I mean, she was going crazy. She's going on a power trip. Because her chicken that she picked was ripped. I'm so sorry. This goes out to you, lady. <laughs> hey, what are you buying over here? <laughs> whoa, 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 what is this? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to confiscate this and take it to the back. I'll be back. Hi, can I help you? <laughs> Welcome, boss. I like the game didn't even give me a tutorial. It just threw me right in. Should I read it? I feel like I should read what's going on. Oh, let me explain. Hello, boss. Let me explain everything to you. I feel like we're playing Night of the Consumers again. Why don't you speak to a manager? <laughs> oh. Oh! God, I, that game really needs to be updated. They keep saying it's coming out, but like, I'm so impatient. Is there music? I don't think there's any music to this game. All right, so I guess we're gonna need some music. Uh, please, uh, Michaela. <laughs> let me explain everything to you. Customers come to you with various claims. So they have this. They I spend thousands of dollars here each year. Give me a discount. I spend thousands of dollars every year. Give me a discount now. Like little babies they are. <laughs> you decide how to handle those. Okay, fine. Sorry, no discounts. Ooh. <laughs> Yes, this is basically me getting to say everything I wanted to say at Walmart when I did work there. Unless you're really passionate about being a manager or something like that, people are just putting on acts when they go to work. That's really what they do. Every choice can impact your cash value. Wait, so I don't get paid? So my boss just takes money away? I don't think that's legal. 
I think you get paid hourly, so that's definitely illegal. Where am I working? And your brand value. Is am I the owner of the place? I guess that does change things a little bit if I own the place. Together, they form our business value. Okay, so that does make sense, I guess. Like, no one would go to a store if every freaking <laughs> cashier was, like, awful to the customers. I would go there just because I think it'd be funny. I mean, how come no one's done that? Just have, like, this, like, the most rudest cashiers ever, like, on purpose? Oh my god, I just came up with a store idea. No more putting on acts. Have you been treated too nicely? Come to our store. Pay us money to treat you like crap. With a smile. I hate you. Tell me you won't shop at my store. Someone has to. Our store policies, we get to say what's on our mind. We don't have to withhold anything. That's amazing. All right, so choose wisely and grow your business. Let's go! I almost started rapping right now. I was thinking of that one song. So obviously they're not all Karens because we have a man back there. But but make no mistake, there's Karen guys. I don't know what you call them. Do you call them Kevin? I know that's a name that other people hate too. What do you call them? I don't know what to call them. I'm gonna call him Pritchard. I don't know. It's something's off about that name. Sorry, no discounts. Oh, I got money though. I actually got money. My ex used to work here. What's his number? <laughs> Are you coming out here to air your dirty laundry in, in freaking Walmart? Like, no. Uh, Ma'am, I can't give you personal information about your ex. That is not any of our business. So GTF the <laughs> out. All right, I lost the money somehow. I don't know how this makes any sense. I'm very sick. What should I buy? Why? Are you <laughs> well, I guess that'll be that customer service. They're not, we're not checking out things, but they're at customer service. All right, you know, that's a valid question. Can you please stay, stay away from me? All right. You're sick? I don't like that. Do I look like your doctor? Uh, champagne and filet mignon. <laughs> I think that'll work, right? You gotta feel, you, what you need is to feel a little bougie, all right? This is, actually, this is a lesson because I'm not your freaking doctor. So, yeah. I, did she like that? I, I really don't know what I'm doing here. I ate a banana while I was shopping. I don't have to pay for it. Okay, so if you don't have to pay for the banana, I don't have to withhold my urge to slap you across the face. I'm not actually gonna do it, right? I want to. Lady doesn't know the concept of stealing. Wow, you're genius! If you eat it, it's free! <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Obviously, I'm not fit to, to run this store. What did you What did you think when you uh, hired me? Look at me! Can I have a frequent shopper discount card? Definitely. You're good. You're good, man. I mean, come on. He he didn't say anything stupid. He, he just simply asked. Ask and thou shall receive. Yay, I got $100! I mean, what, did I work here for like three minutes? I mean, that's pretty good. Honestly, I, let me have your job. Oh, I get to triple it with ads? Oh my god. Yay, my business value has gone up. So what does it mean? Do we get to upgrade our store? Oh my god, where am I working? Bro, they sent me to the location on the bad side of town. Why you gotta do that to me? And that's the thing, I worked on the bad side of town. It sucked. I, I was the one that had all those people that came in with the freaking littlest clothes and the, the biggest people with the smallest amount of clothes possible. Tattoos hanging out, parts of your body hanging out that's not really supposed to. People saying they're gonna sue me for chicken. I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I just needed money. Also, what's live? So this like a life simulator? Relationship level one. You currently are all alone. Oh, so what the heck? Am I gonna get a family? Oh man, this is a, pa a pants? What is this? I didn't know what I was getting into here. I thought it was just about the the speak to your manager, but okay. Okay, so oh, so we get different jobs. That's cool. So okay, right now we're a supermarket manager, which is why we're working at customer service. That makes sense. Uh, we could be an airline manager. Ooh, airline manager. Some airlines, the freaking stewardess there, they do not mess around. They will freaking tell you how it is. They don't even try. Some of them don't even try to be nice. It is so obvious that they are so done and they hate their job. They will let you know. It, it sucks having those ones. But when you have good, nice people, it, it's nice. Those people, like you have to show some serious restraint. Freaking always flying all the time. All right, so I mean, I, we need happiness points. I guess we're not happy yet. I don't know if we're, if we're playing soccer over there. I don't know what's happening, but let's start day two. Oh, am, am I at the, am I airport manager too? I have three jobs? Holy crap, what the heck? Can I take my manager horse on the plane? Can you even do that? Uh, you have to pay extra. Okay, wow. Okay, so, you know, she wasn't bad. She was actually pretty nice about it. I'm a celebrity. Can I have first class? <laughs> YouTubers be like, Can you please give me free game? Can you please give me free game? Nothing is free. That's right. Yes, I lost my reputation, but whatever. I'm one pound over the weight limit. Can you give me a break? Okay, yeah, that's... I mean, I could just be like, I don't know. Should I be nice? Am I having a good day? See, that's the thing with customer service. You, you should be nice to people, right? Because they could be having the worst day and then you just, if you're nice to them, if you're like one of the only people that is nice to that person, they'll be, they'll like, okay, you know what? You want a discount? 
I'll give you a discount. Because I'm not a freaking jerk. I'm gonna say, of course. Of course. Look at that. They really love me. So not everyone in this game is Karens. I get it. All right. How safe are your planes? That's a valid question. I have no idea. You may, you may die. <laughs> I'm just being honest, all right? I don't want to lie to people, okay? All right. Is, is my business value going down? Oh my God, I'm gonna get a new car. What the heck? This game just like throws mechanics at you. Don't even tell me what it is. I'm working at Home Depot now, I guess. This drill costs less than Ace. Do you price match? No, do we look like a charity? Huh? Get to step in. Here, I'm gonna hit you with an ad. <laughs> I should get refund. This shovel is broken. Actually, it's a lifetime guarantee. I have all the power in the world. I'm the manager. Can you tell me more about bidets? Bidets? I'll have you know bidets drowned my family. They shot in my family's nose and they all drowned. <laughs> what is the story that I'm coming up with? Okay, they spray water up your butt and save toilet paper. They're really not bad. Actually, I think we should do them more. There, you're now- oh my god, really? Is it really necessary to get an ad every single time? My god. Can I have your phone number? Well, sir, I do appreciate your hat. You look like a fine gentleman, but get the heck out of here. He's alright, fair enough. Still love you. Do you have any toolboxes in stock? You know what? I'll grab one for the back. Even though I'm pretty sure you just came here earlier and I hated you, but now you're here and you're nice, so I'll grab from the bag just for you. I mean, what incentive do we have to, like, de deny people? Our business value is only going down. I'm so- But I got a new car! It's like the price is right over here! Woo! Wait, that wasn't- That wasn't what was on the thing. What is this? You gave me this, like, freaking Oldsmobile? <laughs> they show, like, a Corvette over there? Oh, I have to watch an ad. I already watched, like, 20 of them! <sighs> I'm so- this is like brainwashing. I'm so glad I saw this game again. I'm still not gonna download it. That's it. I want to speak to your manager. I take off my mask. I am the Karen. I want to speak to this app's manager. I want to speak to God's manager. <laughs> Caleb City, I- one of my favorite YouTubers. Caleb City has this freaking skit where it's basically- it's a skit about that, about people that say, can I speak to the manager? You- there's- you just go higher. I want to speak to the President of the United States. And when he denies you, I want to speak to his manager. You can just keep going. It, you, you, there's no, there's no end. There's no end to how many times you can say, "I want to speak to your supervisor." Someone always has a supervisor. Oh, I got payday. Payday's coming on day six. Oh, okay. Well, I thought I was getting money, but okay, I don't have enough money for a pet. What kind of pet is? Oh my god. What kind of pet is ten thousand dollars? Am I buying a gorilla? Am I actually buying Harambe for ten thousand dollars? I hope it is. Why did I get a car? What do I do with the car? I just have it. Look, look where I live. My TV is actually a cardboard box. Literally, look at it. It's it's actually a cardboard box with tape on it. Why would I go through the? I'm so poor that I just want to make it look like that I have a TV with my broken windows. It's so cold in here. Oh, that's what the car does. Oh my God. It, no one's driving it. I think Casper just stole my car. I'm very poor, says Ray, and I can't afford this. That's not the only thing he can't afford. He can't afford sleeves. Poor man here. You know what? Take this discount, man. Take the discount. You better give me a good review. I love your store. Can I give you a big tip? Yeah, you can, Olivia. Could you imagine I'm like mean to her? She's like, wants to give me a big tip. Just buy more. What, what does that mean? <laughs> Thanks. I mean, why wouldn't you accept a tip? I would always accept a tip. I'm not exactly sure, but I think at Walmart, you are not actually not allowed to accept tips because it's considered a bribe. That's the dumbest crap I've ever heard. What does that even mean? Just, yeah, give me a tip. Gotta sit here and freaking deal with this bull crap every day. Give me a tip. My dog ate my toy. Toilet paper. Can I have for free toilet paper? That's your problem. Welcome to Walmart. I won two million coins. Oh my god! And the buffalo. Oh, I can't wait to ride the buffalo. Oh, I'm being robbed. <laughs> Cash now, or I will shoot you. Okay, so now we have an option. And get get this. The option is to watch an ad and say, "Take this, mother." Fisher. Watch your profanity. Sorry for my my language. Uh, I know that was pretty bad. Take this, but please don't kill me. This is like playing episode. When you play episode, it's like you give you this awful freaking choices. But like if you watch the ad or pay the money, then you get to do the good one. Well, I've already watched about 40 ads in the span of two minutes. So let's go ahead and just do this. I'm going to see if we'll like do a roundhouse kick to his face. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Just want to let you know here at Walmart, we're happy to serve you. And little did you know, there's a 15% discount on wood chips. You don't need wood chips? Get the heck out of my store. Oh, what the? What did I just throw at him? Did she just come out from under the table? What was she doing under there? Do I want to know? Should I start vaping? No, you idiot. 
She's mad. Oh, I hate that you care about my health. If, if a store just got robbed and the, the criminal was just on the ground, would you then continue to buy whatever you were buying? Well, I've got a very busy schedule, all right? I need to buy whatever I'm buying. I'm raising money for a billionaire's presidential campaign. Do you have 20 minutes to talk? Nope, no loitering. My God, that did happen. I'm out there like trying to get carts outside while people are trying to tell me about freaking how God is a lizard. I'm not even exaggerating. Get lost. Yeah. Oh my God, I got promoted. Sweet. What does it mean? Take. I need a better car though. So I, I just, I'm just gonna take the bonus. I don't, I don't want to watch any more ads. I just don't want to. New life event unlock. Social event at the clubs. This will play automatically after one of your next days at work. I mean, I really like the concept of this game. I just don't know what the incentive is to like answer good or bad on the on the customers because it doesn't really seem to make a difference. I'm going to buy a pet though because I have, I have $500. Am I not allowed to have pets here? Like I know my home is not very great, but come on. I need someone to keep me company. I obviously can't watch TV. It's cardboard box. All right, so I have $900, but for some reason I can't buy a pet. So we're not doing that. Oh wait, what's this? Decoration. Oh, I can actually get I don't even have a bed? Where am I sleeping? Okay, I'm gonna buy this man a TV because $400, that's a, a very expensive, I mean, no, that's actually not a very expensive TV. That's like a decent TV, $400. Buy the TV, come on, buy, buy it. it. Seriously, why does it tell me I can do it? It's not there. What is this game trying to fool me for? Can I buy anything? I can't even buy decorations, I've screwed. This game just, ha <laughs> It's like, it's, it's probably punishing me for not watching enough ads. Okay, special gig today. Festival manager. Uh, do, should I claim it? I feel like if I don't, I'll be missing out on something. So I guess I gotta watch another ad. Great. Oh, hey. So. What are you wearing? <laughs> what, what is this? What, what, am I at a concert? What is this? Do you sell a backstage pass? Oh, oh, I'm working as a ba okay, as a, as a bouncer, I guess now. Security, security guards sell them. Yeah, give me some money. <laughs> Thanks, man. I, I didn't get anything out of that. Uh, will it rain today? Uh, depends on your mood. <laughs> I have connections with the gods. I can start doing the rain dance. When does Taylor Swift play? Oh, wow. Is that what I'm doing? Okay. I will tell you when you pay for that drink. <laughs> like a crooked, he's like, all right, I respect that. Here's another ad for you. Hi, dad. Have you ever called someone dad or mom? That's when you just erase yourself from existence. I mean, not literally, but like, you know, you, you feel like you want to do that. Like you just want to just... Where's the bathroom? Uh, diaper? <laughs> Can I pay after the event? The event will never end. We've trapped Taylor Swift here. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Sweet, I got money! Somewhat later. All right, I only took the money. Uh, oh, myself. Wait, oh, that girl over there? Buy her a drink. Oh, of course I'm gonna buy her a drink. She looks like Ramona Flowers. Yeah. Yeah, we dancing. I'm still in my Walmart vest. <laughs> a real gentleman. I know, it was the best. It, it's always the best, in fact. All right, so can I buy a pet now? Oh, I did. I obviously had plenty of money before. Why can't I buy it now? Okay, so my first pet was a rabbit. And uh, I, I guess it has a poop meter. I can move around. How long have I been able to do this? Thanks, tutorial. The non-existent tutorial telling the oh how I can move around. Or did they upload this game half finished? Uh, I didn't even know you can do this. At no point did it say I could do this. Where's my rabbit? Did I eat the rabbit? This place is so bad. I feel like I should be charging them for me to live here. Look at these cabinets. I have so much money. Just buy it. Ugh. Imagine going to the store and just try to give them your money and they won't take it. I have plenty of it. Just take it. Take the money. Today, Scrub of the Day goes to... Ash the Cat. Smash like if you want to see me uh, in this vest some more. <laughs> I don't even know if, the, if is there an ending to this game? Will there be a boss battle at the end? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out one of these days. Let me know if you want to see some more of this. All right, I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye guys.